subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. Namaste. One of my go-to weekly readings is President John F. Kennedy's Harvard thesis, Profiles and Courage, which challenges us all to moments of courage, to do what's right. So today is my Profiles and Courage moment. Mr. President, let me start by saying I support you as my commander in chief. I want you to succeed because if you succeed, America succeeds. And if America succeeds, the world benefits. Mr. President, I recognize that my voice may not matter to you. I'm just a small town girl from the Midwest, blessed with the platforms to sing for US presidents and world leaders and humanity. So I recognize that my voice may not matter to you, but my voice does matter to 1.4 billion people in India and 4 million Indian Americans. And so on their behalf, I appeal to you. The American brand prides itself on being the land of the free and the home of the brave. I sing about this pride regularly. And crown thy good with brotherhood from sea to shining sea. The American brand also prides itself on being a beacon of hope and help to the world. Now, that artful language may not influence you, Mr. President, so let me speak your language. India is America's strongest and largest democratic ally. At the end of the day, Mr. President, just like you said on the campaign trail and now regularly in the Oval Office, we are all one family and America always helps its friends. I applaud you for prioritizing Americans in the coronavirus vaccination distribution. America is headed to better days, but in India, the days worsen. Mr. President, today, America has the full capability to help India. Thank you for lifting the ban on raw materials. Good first steps, but we can do more. We can send vaccinations to India, initiate public-private partnerships, just as we did under Operation Warp Speed last year to bring vaccinations to Americans. Have courage, Mr. President. Let's help India. Mr. President, I have faith in you. Your Excellency Prime Minister Narendra Modi, I have full faith in you. It is time to raise our voices and prayers, America, to help India. God bless you, Mr. President. God bless my beloved United States of America. And may God bless India forever. <laughs>